Welcome back everybody to another episode of Wood Vlogs. So I have been away and I have been focusing on the Zach Wood channel. I do short films now. I write, direct, and produce everything for them. So if you want to go check out the horror short and the other September 11th, 2001, the day of the Twin Towers attack, just kind of my perspective and where everybody would have been and just kind of something really interesting for you guys to check out. So today, what I'm doing is something really related to the channel GQ, so let's get started. So, the first item today that I have in my hands are my Jordans. Um, I can't remember what number these are, but when I seen them, they were very Batman-ish. They are from the 23 collection. They were very just, like I said, Batman bootish, like boots, but they're shoes, and I mean... They're barely worn down. I've had them for almost two years now. The creasings aren't aren't bad, but I mean, I wear them. So yeah, that's the first item. The second item I can't live without, and it might throw a lot of people off. I've had this for two years as well, and it's very, very, very worn down. Very, 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 like, I've had to modify it with a nail, put it through, the original thing popped out. It's that old. So, yeah, obviously you can see the suede on the back is just dirty. Stitching's coming out. Like, not even that bad. It's just, like, I could probably burn it up and down. But this I definitely can't live without. This is the first legit Louis Vuitton belt I've ever owned after owning my first Gucci belt, which, unfortunately, I had lost to somebody stealing it in the slums of Belleville. All right, so the... Second last thing I can't really live without um, is my watches. I'm a huge watch guy, and there's a story to each watch. So this is a a glow blue, um, just a really raunchy looking, very horrible, very not good watch that I wore for a long time. And the other one has a story. So a while back I had done a robbery that I had gotten away with and uh yeah so I had purchased one of these after smashing the exact same one a couple years back and I mean I just love the way that it looked the Belova Marine Star 21 Jewel Automatic 200 meter it's a perfect perfect dive watch I've wore this into many showers many baths and nothing's happened it's got a gas uh, or it's got a gasket in here like a Rolex and uh, many watch experts might critique, critique me on that one but yeah so not very often does that get too damaged it can't I haven't damaged it yet and I've had it for quite a long time it's my beater my everyday beater on the uh, rubber strap and the last one and the newest to my collection which I call the root beer dial automatic Automatic 21 Jewel Belova, and it doesn't have a series, just a reference number. And I bought this for about 505. And like I said, I'm a huge watch guy. And this has a lot of weight to it. This is a weighty watch. And when I put it on, it's to make a statement. This is a statement piece. You know, you're never gonna, you're never gonna buy a watch unless it's a statement piece. And this one right here is my statement. The very last thing in the world that I cannot live without, and I'm sure many of you know this, is my ring. Emerald cut baguettes with princess cut diamonds on 14 karat gold, um, 12 grams, and it's just, it's beautiful. I've had this ring for so long that the price of it has gone up from what I paid, and I mean, that that's what an investment piece is. The watches, I haven't quite got into investment pieces. It's just, hey, look, I got a nice watch, and the ring though is an investment so gold never goes down and it goes up inflation so make sure to go buy some and uh that's my last piece